U.S. COVID infected military, uh, excuse me, U.S. COVID infected in America, 6,344,700. U.S. COVID deaths, 189,506. We have to equip them that when they get out, nobody in, who got in prison for marijuana, for example, immediately upon being released, they shouldn't be in there for a Mr. That should be a misdemeanor. Because of God's done before. I'm the only one up here. Go to Joe 30330. You know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They'd look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. I'm not going nuts. I'm not sure whether it's a medical school or where the hell I spoke, but it was on the campus. I propose, and I'm going to digress slightly. I, here we, we're in a situation. I, the president asked me to head up a cancer moonshot. President Biden, just to be clear, would you or would you not rejoin the TPP, yes or no? I would not rejoin the TTP as it was initially put forward. <laughs> the price for whatever, whatever the drug costs are. Well, folks, I eliminate one tax loophole out of a trillion six hundred billion worth, for a, a trillion four hundred billion worth, out of a billion four hundred million excuse me, a trillion four hundred billion dollars. It's hard to even say it so much. And by the way, it's cost a lot of money. It cost about seven hundred and forty million billion dollars over ten years. One thousand ten hundred million trillion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you agree with me, go to Joe three o three three o and help me in this fight. To say that LGBTQ people have no civil rights. I took on uh, Putin in terms of uh, Iraq. I mean, excuse me, in terms of uh, uh, um, what was going on in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. My long friend, time friend, and she's a friend, she's been my friend in and out of public life, is uh, it will cost one thirtieth, one thirtieth, costs a lot of money, almost seven hundred and forty billion dollars to do what I want to do over ten years, but not thirty trillion dollars, not thirty trillion. I'm among many qualified people, I'm the best qualified people person for this job. And the reason is not just to help people who have or, or in fact, are and like to get Alzheimer's. Because think of what's been adopted. Milton Friedman's notion that the only obligation. But that all changed with our Republican friends in the late 80s when they adopted Milton Friedman's notion that the only obligation. We can do it and it's going to take billions of dollars to do it. And we can afford to do it. We can't, we can afford, we can't afford not to do it. Cut in half the number of uninsured of the uh, Asian African, uh, excuse me, the Asian American Pacific Islander community. But President Trump and the demagogues around, uh, demagogues around the world, the single most stressed gender, I was asked to speak to the American Psychiatric Association, to go over to the University, to go over to the University of London and speak to the World Psychiatric Association. It's interesting, I just spoke to the International Society of Psychiatric, uh, the International Organization of Psychiatrists, I forget the formal name of it, over in London because uh, union workers, the UAW took incredible cuts in their future. That we have a trillion, six hundred billion dollars worth of worth of loopholes in the law. I never ever thought that I'd see what I saw in Charlotte. If we just were to reinstill, re reinstitute the cafe standards, and I think uh, Secretary, um, excuse me, I wasn't a, the press going to say I'm downgrading my column and say, Senator Booker. The fact is that the bills that the president, that the, excuse me, the future president here, that, that, that the senator's talking about, and I was the one that suggested that the president, President Obama, I don't want to confuse presidents here. Look, we provide a Medicare option. 
That's exactly what Brock and I talked about in the beginning. Another country and annexed a significant portion of it called Crimea. Right. He's saying that it was President, my boss, it was his fault. I got assault weapons banned for 10 years. It had to be reauthorized because of hanging chads in Florida. The last president said, no, I'm not going to reauthorize it. Sachs or Benetton's or Nike or whatever in the, in the market, in, the, in, the, in their uh, um, places where they, in the malls. And the, the, what they call the moonshot, de dealing with cancer. And something after that set up the Biden Cancer Initiative. And the in here's the point. <laughs> and they'd say to you, take my shotgun. I said, I have three, I now have five because my son died and I have three of his. I have five shotguns. The fact of the matter is, I'm awfully sophisticated about why, how, and who built this country. Let me say this simply and clearly. They are not, they are not national assets. Wall Street bankers, CEOs, hedge fund managers, no matter how good and decent they are, they're not the ones who built this country. That triumph of democracy and liberalism over fascism and autocracy. When I got out of school, that... Uh, when Bobby Kennedy and Dr. King had been assassinated in, in the 70s, uh, late 70s, when I got engaged. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. I don't have here in Miami, in Miami, in Florida. You don't have over here. And that is, if you keep an audience, there's a invasion of Hispanics. 65 out of 100 jobs today require training beyond high school. 65 out of every 100. Three for 30 trillion dollars. You've been a great friend for a long time. And your Paul son is remarkable, you know? They also got that last year. And for folks in the working class that are below 400, they will, in fact, will increase their, their premiums, excuse me, will increase the generosity of the premium tax credit they now get. They go to school from a middle class or upper middle class, and they house, Having heard, the estimates are as many as four million more words spoken. You know, the next thing we got to do here along the line to report people's dignity, re restore it. We're the most powerful military, not hyperbole, most powerful history, military in the history of the world. That's not hyperbole. Things changed. You had over 40 kids shot in Kent State on a beautiful lawn by the National Guard. There are a whole lot of things, and guess what? America didn't live up to that promise for most of the people at the time. A promise the people of color of went for women. Farm ownership and cooperating loan and, and operating loans. I remember sometimes when my dad was restless. My mom would say, because our rooms are next to one another, I'd say, the next morning, what's tomorrow? I said, your dad can't sleep. He's just staring at the ceiling thinking, what happens? We have to start rewarding work, rewarding work not just wealth. The first speech stood up. The chancellor, the former chancellor of Germany stands up. She says, we have to go it alone. The international leaders spoke about it. You had people like Margaret Thatcher, excuse me, you had people like the, the former chairman and leader of the party in, in Germany. You had Angela Merkel stand up and say how terrible it was. We provide efficiency for appliances. That saves billions of gallons of gasoline. I mean, bi billions of uh, Two point, I think it's $2.3 billion worth of, excuse me, $500 billion in savings and two point something billion metric tons of CO2 going in the air. Where an overwhelming number of families, ICE walks into a small Mississippi town, in fact, arrests hundreds of workers. By investing $100 billion in education, in global warming efforts, it's a whole range of things. And that's why we need to make post-sector post education affordable, available, and training, reducing the crushing cost of student loan debt. What's not to like about Vermont in terms of the beauty of it? And what a neat town. What a, I mean, this is sort of a scenic, beautiful town. While Trump is pursuing, pursuing a damaging and erratic trade war without any strategy, by the way. Mr. Biden, they say these gaps in your electability. Well, that's what we determined pretty soon, won't we? Thanks, guys. One thousand hundred million trillion.